Mr. Chair, yep. I would like to make a motion that we approve the district action plan. It has been years in the making, and finally last night, the Guam Education Board voted to approve the Department of Education's five-year district action plan, or DAP. DOE Superintendent John Fernandez. It's not perfect. We have a lot of detail to add to, add to it as we go along the way. But I do hope that the message that the board sends today is that we believe that with the adoption of, this, of these standards, with all the work that Mr. Sanchez, our administrators, our teachers have put into uh, this effort over the past two years, is going in the right direction. It's described as the big picture, a document with strategies DOE will deploy and implement over the next five years that will not only strengthen curriculum, but also set benchmarks to evaluate student and teacher performance. The vote by the board, however, was not unanimous, as GEB Chairperson Dr. Jose Cruz expressed concerns that he'd never seen the district action curriculum map. Why wasn't it presented to the board? Okay, it looks as if someone is not reading what is expected. The standard here is really, there's a big idea, and I got this from the schools. Okay, and the frustration that I have is that it is out there but it looks as if the people who have oversight aren't sensitive to their own work. And while Dr. Cruz was miffed that he'd never seen the curriculum map, other board members said they did. Likewise, Deputy Superintendent for Curriculum and Instructional Improvement, Joe Sanchez, defended the curriculum map has been before the board since last year. This has been brought to the board since December of 2013. The document was completed in January it was in the board report, I have a copy of that. We had two retreats, full day retreats, where we covered these documents. This is a major part of implementation. The schools have had this for over eight months. I have seen those documents. I am familiar with it. Sorry, I just wanted to clarify that the document that you have, is that the same that was included in the package of the retreat? It is. No, I've never seen it. I've never seen it, and I'm sorry. I may, I may be oblivious. I may be really on, on what you call it, on, on a loony, loony place. I've never seen it. Dr. Cruz went so far as presenting an amendment to include the district curriculum map into the district action plan. The motion failed. GEB member Kenneth Chargoloff. Point of information, whichever is appropriate. But the curriculum, the, the curriculum map that you have before you, those are almost like the, the details at, in the classroom. Those will come <coughs> naturally as, the, as we progress throughout the school year. The teachers will be using that as their, uh, their guides each day. What we are recommending is that we look at the Guam Department of Education State Strategic Plan as to form because that is in itself the whole that really represents the vision of the Guam Department of Education. The DAP was approved of five to two. Of the curriculum, the standards, well, the curriculum, the, um, the instructional uh, practices.